The former CEO of General Electric has a follow-up essay after last week, pretty much accusing the White House of manipulating the jobs report, the September jobs number, where unemployment fell below 8 percent. There's a lot to pick apart here in what he writes, including how the jobs number were compiled, which I'll leave to Michael McKee. But the one section that struck me was this sentiment. I know I'm not the only person hearing these numbers and saying, really? If all that's true, why are so many people I know still having such a hard time finding work? Why do I keep hearing about local, state, and federal cutbacks? Now he Did someone ends... turn my microphone off <laughs> so I don't start screaming? <laughs> one minute. You can start screaming in a second. He ends his whole essay with this idea that the coming election is too important to pin on one number. I would argue that we're, no one's pinning anything on one number. That's not the case at all. But he has certainly added to the firestorm there. Yeah, unfortunately, Jack has stepped in it again with this rebuttal. It only makes him look worse. And we have a Bloomberg View response this morning from the Orzag brothers, Jonathan Orzag, who's a managing part director at uh, Compass Lexicon. He served on the National Economic Council. And Peter Orzag, who, of course, was a bill, uh, Barack Obama's budget director. Welch's comments demonstrate a stunning degree of ignorance and recklessness and impugn his own credibility. If he had been better informed, he might have said something useful about the data. They point out that when he was CEO of GE, he used a lot of innovation in gathering data, and he could have made positive suggestions about how these reports could have been improved instead of suggesting that the reports are fixed. And then he writes today in the Wall Street Journal a whole lot of things that are just plain wrong. 